May 31st is my birthday. I turned 32 this year. And... Screws, I never, I never have the chance to use it. They're supposed to go with these big, um, 25 pound rated, um, drywall anchors, but I end up using it with something else because the heads of these are just so big. Big head. Anyway, my nose is running as usual in the mornings. It's okay, I got hair on my shirt already for some reason. Oh, cause I missed with it just now. My hair is still wet from the shower. But uh, yeah, I had this wonderful idea of doing daily vlogs until my 30, uh, second birthday. Cause my last 31 days of being 31. I like the 31, 31, 31. So, I'm gonna try my best to do that. I don't know if I'll be able to edit and upload everything every day. I guess who knows what the future holds, right? Um, also, this one is rated for 23 pounds, the blue ones. It's like, I guess it's a tiny little bit difference in size, but that tiny little difference is two pounds apparently. But the blue ones I go through the most, I always tend to gravitate towards these. And these screws, a little smaller and long, eh, they're not that bad, but I still don't use it as much. You know, I know like people um, in the business have like huge toolboxes that they carry around with a little dolly, everything's organized and whatever but i work for so many people so many different people and like a couple different clients a day that and they live in apartments usually or i live in the city so you know sometimes they even live in where um i can't find parking for like another two blocks or something so it just doesn't make any sense to carry around big ass uh Tool bag and the other thing is some places they don't even have ramps they don't even have it's just all stairs and some i've had to walk up a whole three flight of stairs with my big ass tool bag sometimes even with my ladder and i brought my dolly because i didn't know that they weren't going to have any ramps or elevators so it's it's like a workout also look look how brown and brassy my hair is so brassy i got shampoo for it april is over oh may 30 2021 what is this look at those brown eyes hi brown eyes Look at those other brown eyes. Hey, brown eyes. Hey. She only likes to show her butt. This is our May 1st flower of the day. <laughs> I don't know what kind they are. They're so cute. Hello. I'm back in the car now. I'm back in the car. I'm in the car now. And I am... Well, ah. The homeless person is sweeping up the sidewalk here. I am heading to my nine o'clock job, which is whoop, which is to assemble a garden bed. Actually, two garden beds, both six feet wide, and it has like a little trellis. I didn't know what a trellis was until like last week. I didn't know that was what it was called. That little design, the wooden design they have. Look at that! It looks like a wide angle lens. But anyway, I am heading over to my nine o'clock and then I am going back to a former client of mine to install a new bidet attachment for her. And I have 
never seen the bidets leak there before. Like when I do, when I install the bidet and I check all the connections here and there, sometimes you'll get droplets of water coming out of where it connects to the fill valve or if it's like a hot water and cold water bidet, then wherever it connects to the hot water supply line sometimes will leak from there. Or even like if I don't tighten enough the little part that connects to the actual attachment, they'll leak from there. Wherever the connections are, sometimes that may leak. But I was like, when she texted me that she needed me to install a new bidet because it started to leak, I was like, oh no, like what have I done? But it had already been three months, so it's kind of like suddenly all the connections that I made suddenly started to leak. That's very questionable that it was my installation um, fault. Or that doesn't make any sense, I'll just say that. <laughs> but uh, she sent me a video of where the leak was coming from, and it was like, right where the control panel is, like right underneath where there's like a tiny, tiny little screw that they've installed to like probably hold the little dial on the other side. Hi. I wanted to take a picture of the job. I just assembled two garden beds with trellises. But, uh, I forgot. So, That was a hot job. <sighs> 45 minutes to build two garden beds, which I thought was gonna take like an hour and a half each. I don't know why. I think like, because I, when I saw the video, I saw like so many random pieces of wood it reminded me of the little playhouse that I built that was made out of wood with like all the compartments, kitchenware, uh, roof, and all the walls or whatever. That took me like three hours to build, so I thought it was going to be just as difficult. I don't know why. It's just a garden bed. It doesn't have all the compartments. My outfit of the day. Genius. No, it looks the same actually. Never mind. We're killing it together. Here we are. Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Look at Anthony. He has such a cute outfit. He's not even working today. Look at him. So Don't forget cute. to subscribe at My Kind of Economical on YouTube and follow this girl and her content. Stop it! Here, we made it. Someone was 30 minutes late. <laughs> That's such a lot. I got this, he got that, he got that, he got a yellow omelet. That's that's not real. <laughs> Wait, is this this is mine, right? Yeah. And it's for it looks like omelet. Right there. Question to make. I ordered a cocktail and I have a job at three. Anthony made me do it. I begged to not do it. Not true. That's it. I'm not gonna get crazy. We got fries and we got omelet and we got Anthony. Okay, just got done. Oops, I'm not even driving yet. Come on. The day job was, I don't know, it was so fast. Go ahead. It was so fast. Um, I would say it was. This particular one, um, she downgraded to a cold water. to a cold water bidet attachment because the one I told you was leaking and I don't know it's definitely a faulty product because yeah it was just a weird spot that it was leaking from thank you so much for watching subscribe please I want
lot to hit a thousand subscribers by June.